This documentary is on the Great Barrier Reef, a natural wonder in peril. Please don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most spectacular and diverse natural wonders of the world. Located off the northeastern coast of Australia, it is the world's largest coral reef system, stretching over 2,300 kilometers, 1,400 miles, and covering an area of over 344,000 square kilometers, 133,000 square miles. It is home to an incredible array of marine life, including over 1,500 species of fish, 600 species of coral, and numerous species of turtles, sharks, and dolphins. In this documentary, we will explore the history, geography, ecology, and current state of the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef has a long and complex geological history, dating back to over 500 million years ago. It was formed from the remains of tiny marine organisms, such as corals and algae, which built up over time to create a limestone platform. This platform was then lifted up by tectonic movements, and eventually eroded by wind and waves to create the reef we see today. The Great Barrier Reef is located in the Coral Sea, off the northeastern coast of Australia. It stretches from the Torres Strait, which separates Australia from Papua New Guinea, down to the state of Queensland, covering an area of over 344,000 square kilometers. It is made up of over 2,900 individual reefs and around 900 islands and cays. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems on the planet. It is home to over 1,500 species of fish, 600 species of coral, and numerous species of turtles, sharks, and dolphins. Some of the most iconic species found on the reef include the green sea turtle, the humpback whale, and the clownfish, made famous by the movie Finding Nemo. The coral reefs themselves are the backbone of the ecosystem. They are made up of tiny animals called polyps, which secrete a hard, calcium carbonate skeleton. These skeletons build up over time to create the reef structure. Coral reefs are incredibly important because they provide a home, shelter, and food for a huge range of marine life. The Great Barrier Reef is also home to numerous other habitats, including seagrass beds, mangrove forests, and sandy beaches. These habitats are critical for many species, including dugongs, sea turtles, and many species of fish. Unfortunately, the Great Barrier Reef is facing numerous threats, many of which are caused by human activities. Climate change is one of the biggest threats, as rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification are causing mass coral bleaching and killing off large sections of the reef. Coral bleaching occurs when the coral polyps expel the colorful algae that live inside them, leaving the coral white and vulnerable to disease. Other threats to the reef include pollution from land-based sources such as agricultural runoff and plastic waste, overfishing, and destructive fishing practices such as dynamite fishing and cyanide fishing. Coastal development and dredging also pose a threat, as they can damage the reef structure and disrupt critical habitats such as seagrass beds and mangrove forests. Despite the many threats facing the Great Barrier Reef, there are numerous efforts underway to protect and restore this incredible ecosystem. The Australian government has implemented a number of measures, including stricter regulations on fishing and coastal development and a ban on dumping dredge spoil in the reef area. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority GBRMPA, is responsible for managing the reef and ensuring its protection. The authority has developed a comprehensive management plan, which includes zoning regulations to limit human activity in sensitive areas, and a range of programs to monitor the health of the reef and address threats such as climate change, pollution, and overfishing. The GBRMPA also works closely with other organizations, including research institutions and conservation groups, to develop and implement strategies for protecting and restoring the reef. For example, the authority has established a partnership with the Australian Institute of Marine Science to monitor the health of the reef and develop new techniques for coral restoration. 
One of the most promising approaches for coral restoration is the use of coral nurseries. These nurseries involve collecting fragments of healthy coral and growing them in protected areas until they are large enough to be transplanted back onto the reef. This technique has been successfully used in various parts of the world and is now being trialed on the Great Barrier Reef. In addition to these efforts, there is also a growing awareness and appreciation of the value of the Great Barrier Reef, both as a natural wonder and as a vital ecosystem that provides numerous benefits to the region and the world. Many tourism operators are now offering more sustainable and responsible tours, and there is a greater focus on education and outreach to promote awareness of the importance of the reef and the need to protect it for future generations. In conclusion, the Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most spectacular natural wonders and is an incredibly important ecosystem that provides habitat for thousands of species of marine life. Unfortunately, it is facing numerous threats, including climate change, pollution, and overfishing, which are causing significant damage to the reef and its inhabitants. However, there are numerous efforts underway to protect and restore the reef, including comprehensive management plans, zoning regulations, and programs to monitor the health of the reef and address threats. The use of coral nurseries and other restoration techniques also offer hope for the future of the reef. Ultimately, the protection and restoration of the Great Barrier Reef will require a collective effort from governments, conservation organizations, tourism operators, and individuals. By working together to address the threats facing the reef, we can ensure that this incredible ecosystem remains a vibrant and thriving part of our planet for generations to come. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest videos. Thank you.